Hey guys, uh, what's going on? I don't usually post videos like this, uh, but something's been on my mind and kind of eaten away at me for the last day or so, so I wanted to film a video uh, and kind of just put my thoughts out there. Yesterday, I sent out a tweet and I said, if you could change one thing about youth baseball or amateur baseball, what would it be? And, and got a lot of different responses from the bats to the, uh, the leagues and the money and the you name it. But I got one message a number of times. People messaged me and they also tweeted it publicly. And they said, no daddy ball. Daddy shouldn't be allowed to coach. No dads should coach. Um, and I'll be honest, I just, I, I think that's like the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. Like dads shouldn't be allowed to coach in youth baseball. Like who are we going to get to coach our kids? And let's be honest too. What, what is the goal of 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 year old baseball? You don't have to have a perfect swing or perfect throwing mechanics. We don't need the best pitching mechanic guru to come in and teach our kids. What we need are coaches or parents or people who actually care about these kids and who are willing to invest their time and build a relationship and do the things in order for them to have success. The things that are most important at the youth age are not the swing mechanics or the throwing mechanics or the this or the that, the X's and the O's. It's building character, it's learning teamwork, it's personal accountability and responsibility. We need coaches who are going to teach our kids uh, how to grow up to be productive adults. Yes, we want them to be good baseball coaches as well, but that's an added bonus. That comes far secondary behind teaching the other things. We need coaches who can get in there and say, hey, little Johnny, you know, where's your glove? Why'd you forget your glove? Oh, I didn't forget my glove. My mom forgot my glove. No, 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 no. Your mom didn't forget your glove. Your glove is your responsibility. Your mom got up, cooked you breakfast, took you to school, dropped you off, went to work, picked you back up, had a snack for you, took you to practice, loaded your baseball bag, uh, and because you took your glove out of there, that's not your mom's fault. Your mom can't do everything for you. It's your job to learn about that, okay? And we need coaches to get in there and say, uh, man, look, Johnny, I, I know we really struggled with this at the beginning of the season. I can see how hard you've worked. I can see all the time and effort you've put into it. And now here at the end of the season, we're so much better at that. That's because of the work ethic that you've put in. Those are the lessons we need our coaches to be teaching our children uh, and our youth baseball players. Don't get me wrong. I, I, I like competitive baseball. I like to win as much or more than anybody. But in youth baseball, that's not what's important. Okay, I've seen way too many trophies given out. I've seen the stupid eight-year-old world championship rings that are as big as a, a rock and have they're filled with cubic zirconias and they cost 75 bucks. Okay, that's not a real championship ring. That's not what's important. Okay, so for you to say that no dad should be able to coach their kid, that just upsets me. I just think that's it's just morally wrong. Okay, uh, what we need is we need more dads involved. And for the people out there that say no dad should be able to coach, you know, no daddy ball, I ask you this question. How many teams do you coach? Seriously, how many teams do you coach where your kid's not involved? And don't give me the excuse, oh, well, I'm too busy. I don't have the time. Guess what? Everybody's busy. The, ki the parents, the dads that are coaching your kids, they're busy too. They have lives. They have wives to go home to. They have jobs. They have to work overtime. They have to make ends meet. They're just as busy as you are, but they're taking time out of their schedule to work with a group of 12 to 15 kids uh, to hopefully teach them lessons, have some fun, learn the game of baseball, um, and, and do all these things that other people aren't willing to. I'd be willing to bet the majority of volunteer coaches uh, are dads. I don't think there's many people that volunteer that don't have a child involved in the sport because let's be honest, there's not many you know people out there that are willing to go volunteer their time and energy to go coach a group of uh, nine-year-olds when they have nothing invested in them. Okay, those people are few and far between. Now, God bless them. We need more people like that. Uh, but but we have to have dads involved. And if dads aren't involved, I, I just think we're I think we're asking for something unrealistic, and I think we're looking for uh, something that's not available and not out there. So really, if you're one of the people that thinks that dad shouldn't be able to coach or no dad should be able to coach this team because he's going to give his son more playing time, really question what youth baseball is all about. Is it about winning you know, 14 different tournaments in the summer, or is it about teaching the lessons uh, that your son needs? Character, teamwork, uh, building relationships. 
uh, responsibility, accountability, showing up on time. Those are the things that are most important. And it doesn't take a baseball guru to be able to teach those things. It just takes somebody um, who actually cares about the kids on the team. 